Welcome back to A Better Life. I'm your host, Hank Hennigan, and I am so excited for our next guest, Mr. John Paul Caswell of Iron Horse Financial. John Paul, how you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. This well, is great. glad for you to be here, brother. Yeah, it's exciting. And, and uh, John, or should I call you JP? JP, John Paul. John either, Paul, j yeah, just call one. you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. Just call me. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. Um, Tell us more about Iron Horse Financial. When did it start? I mean, you know in your heart what you need to tell us about Iron Horse Financial. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to tell you. So Iron Horse Financial actually started in Houma, Louisiana, and has now branched into six locations across Louisiana and Arkansas, uh, just under 50 uh, financial advisors. But uh, interestingly enough, it was, it was started by a, a man named Merle Sheck Snyder. You might remember him from the 1958 uh, Chinese Bandit uh, and the uh, championship team. So uh, Merle to this day is still uh, uh, very uh, involved in the community and involved in, uh, in the agency as well. And, and we're proud to have him around and, uh, and, and have that as part of our history. But, you know, Merle actually played both offense and defense. And that's really uh, a part of what Iron Horse Financial really does wow. well in our financial planning is that we, we do the offense and the defense when it comes to helping people build wealth, but at the same time, protect that wealth that they have built. That's good. So what is unique, John Paul, about the philosophy that goes into a financial plan for an Iron Horse Financial client? Uh, good question. So the, uh, if you're looking for a financial planner, it's important that you line up on the philosophy of the way that they view money, the way that they view wealth, the way that uh, they want that money to be invested and grow. And what really makes our philosophy unique is that we do focus both on the offense and the defense when it comes to somebody's financial plan. So uh, for example, financial advisors, that's such a, a really broad term. And, and some people are financial advisors that focus more on the investments, some that focus more on insurance. Um, so you know, just because you have a financial uh, planner or financial advisor, it might still be pretty narrowly focused in one particular area. Let's say, for example, the investment side. If that is too much of an emphasis on investments, as long as you're making those investments and that linear plan continues yes. just like it was worked out, it's just, you know, uh, to designed to, to be very linear, it doesn't take any of those life circumstances and life events into account. And so, if there is, you know, on, on the more negative side, if there's loss of a job or loss of income or, or you know, the kids move back in after college <laughs> or the parents move in, all these different, those aren't part of those financial plans. And so a lot of times there's those effects and those impacts that really come at those investment sides that, uh, that really should be addressed on the protection side. Somebody gets sued, somebody gets sick. Right. Um, you know, those elements all need to play into that plan, not just you know, things are going to go well, and, and so it's, it's going to be this straight line to uh, retirement. It doesn't always work out that way. You know, it's always been said when you start planning for retirement, you should start as early as possible. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Best time and, to, and to start yesterday. Yeah. 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 What, what is some of the pitfalls to avoid that you often see in planning for retirement? Well, you know, part of it, like I just mentioned, is that there's a lot of circumstances that we know happen in people's lives that really yeah. aren't part of that financial plan. And if they're not taken into account, then uh, they can really mess up someone's retirement. But really, uh, there's too much of an emphasis on the actual assets that somebody retires with and not enough emphasis on the type of income that you can draw off of those assets. Yes. Because if you're trying to just get to a number at retirement and you're focusing on trying to get to that number, there's, you might be missing out on a lot of other great opportunities to maybe have less money, but have more income off of that money. I got you. So, so there's, as we well know, across Baton Rouge and the, the state of Louisiana and all, well, you know, all across the, the nation, there's many financial planners. And so, how do I know that a financial planner is actually good, <laughs> or, or is on my side, so to speak? Right, right. Uh, you know, your financial plan at some point in time is going to going to be put to the test. Yes. And 
sometimes people really have a nice close relationship with their financial advisor, their financial advisors in the family, what have you. Um, I, I, don't, I don't even care if, it's, if I'm the financial advisor. You need to have multiple people looking at your plan, testing your plan. They have other areas of expertise that they bring to the table uh, that when looking at your financial plan, your financial picture, uh, that you might not be aware of. So the CPA, the, uh, the attorney, um, we have a lot of consultants on our teams and we wow. put multiple eyes on people's financial plan to really look at, all right, where, where's our vulnerabilities? What's our opportunities for maximization? And, and uh, you know, what, what could we have the, the greatest impact if we, if we tweaked and moved things around? So don't, don't hesitate to have another financial advisor look at your financial plan and uh, doesn't mean you're not being loyal, doesn't mean that you're sure. uh, being distrustful, but uh, you, you know, it's, you don't get to make the mistakes. Right? Once you, you're retired, <laughs> once you jump off, that's, that's it. it, that's it. You stop having that income, something happens, you, you've got to now have the assets and, and it's okay to have multiple eyes looking at that. As our name of our show, A Better Life, and states, that's what Ironhorse Financial and the planners and you as president do. Uh, look into the future, help advise a person, a family, a retiree, a future retiree to have a better life. So when should someone come see a financial planner? Well, I mean, come in today. You know, I mean, <laughs> I, the day is good. Now, I, I think that uh, it's always good to, um, you know, the earlier the better. Sure. I mean, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People yeah. uh, talks about begin with the end in mind. I, I think that if you're starting a business, you need to plan on how are you getting out of that business? What's yes. the succession plan? What's the exit strategy? So same thing with retirement or if you're planning for a wedding, you're planning for, um, you know, to be, you know, to, to take the month off, you know, and, and enjoy things. Yes. Whatever it is, you need to start the planning of it earlier. Um, and one of the, uh, one of the things that's unique about Iron Horse Financial is we, we don't have account minimums. Uh, we don't have, um, you know, a particular client size like you'd have to have with a lot of traditional uh, wirehouses and things. Uh, so we can start very early with our clients. And a lot of our clients come in as, you know, still in residency school, still in college or just out of college, just getting ready to start into the, the job market. And what, uh, and really proud of them to say, what, what do I need to do to get started? And it's great to work with them. John Paul. How can someone out there in Baton Rouge area watching A Better Life get in contact with John Paul Caswell at Ironhorse Financial? Well, feel free to uh, call our office at uh, 225, uh, I believe it's on the screen, 766-9700. Uh, and uh, you can uh, uh, just ask for myself, John Paul Caswell, or any one of our staff that can, uh, that can help you. It's important that you really find an advisor that, that you can connect with, that you can you know, have a relationship. Our average client's been with us for 11 years, and so it is a process uh, that we start working with people and, and help them along that process. So you know, connect, and then keep connecting with, uh, with financial advisors until you find somebody that really is a good fit for you. Okay, people in Baton Rouge area, watching A Better Life, contact John Paul Caswell and his staff at On Horse Financial. And God bless you for watching. Thank you, Brother John. Thank you, sir.